Monkeys adopt accent of other species when in shared territory study. Animal behavior. Natalie Grover, science correspondent. The Guardian. Brazilian Amazon primates found to adapt their calls to get along better with their neighbors. Monkeys will use the accent of another species when they enter its territory to enhance communication, most like a British person living in the US might forgot their to tomato for tomato. The researchers have found. Researchers investigate the behavior of 15 groups of two roughly squirrel-sized primates species in Brazilian Amazon. By tamarind, Saginus bicolor, and red-handed tamarinds, Sagi, Saginus midas. The critically endangered by tamarind, a species with a black, hairless face, white shaggy, shaggy fur, fur of the f of on the neck and shoulders, and an almost huge coat from from the waist down, largely live around the city of Manaus. Red-handed tamarinds, which have ginger hands and feet and a body covered in black fur, black fur, are found across the northeast Amazon region. Unlike humans, other primate primates do not use a variety of languages. Instead, they they have a fixed number of calls within their vocals repeated repertoire that encompass a variety of contexts, such as predator warnings and mating propositions. They cannot learn new calls, say, say the studies author Dr. Jacob Dunn, an associate professor in evolutionary biology at Anglia Ruskin University. By comparing recordings of the acoustic profile of or calls of the two species in three locations, places in a by in a by in a bited solely by pea tamarinds, by red handed tamarinds, and and areas in a bite inhabited by both species, the researchers found that the red handed tamarinds adopted the calls of their neighbors in the shared regions, according to the study publishes published in the behavioral ecology and sociobiology socio journal. The red hand, the tamarind skull become, becomes much more like the pea tamarinds and we think that the reason they do this is because when you are in, its, in this area, in this shared area and you are closely related species, you are very likely to come into competition over resources because You've you've got a similar diet and habitat requirements, said the Dun. You need a call that can be understood by these other species so that you can regulate territorial disputes. The two species practically speak the same language anyway, but they need to understand each other's accents, he added. They might need they might need to say tomato instead of tomato. That's that's the kind of the of nuance in the accents, so that they can, so that they can really understand each other. And so they are kind of playing around within the con the constraints. They call they can make their call longer or slightly higher or a lower frequency, or a bit harshest, harsher, or a bit more tonal. They can, sort of, they can sort of change the noise a bit, but essentially they are still saying the same words. Why the red-handed tamarinds were more adaptive versus pie tamarinds, which seemingly, seemingly did not try to meet their comrades in their middle remains a mystery remains a mystery and in and is the subject of ongoing research he added but since red hand tamarinds tend to be relat relatively more vocally territory 
territorial don't speculate it it could be the species might be predisposed to make the change